Well, former President Barack Obama has come out and claimed responsibility for the booming American economy. It was so good he had to take credit for it. But let's take a look at what Obama's economy really looked like and what Trump, what the Trump economy is looking like. First of all, Barack Obama let the, Trump, the Bush tax cuts expire, raising taxes on American business. We were, under Obama, the highest corporate tax rate in the world, 35%. That means Mexico is a 25%. It's 10% more profitable to be in Mexico or Canada than America under Barack Obama. That's not even factoring the cheap labor increases profits. I'm talking about the $100 million you make, you pay $25 million to be in Mexico, you pay $35 million to be in the United States, and then depending on what state you're in, like Minnesota, California, New York, you could pay another 10% on top of your 35, but you at 45%. China has a 20% corporate tax rate. So we were 15% more expensive to make something in America than China under Barack Obama. Trump bought the tax rate down to 21%. That means we are 4% more profitable than Mexico and Canada. We are 1% less profitable than China. Now, if you're going to manufacture something... Say your company is going to make $100 million a year. You can, under Obama, you'd pay $35 million a year to be in the United States. Under Trump, you pay 21%. It's, it's, you know, it's $14 million more in profit. You would honestly have to be a fool to build and make something in the United States under Obama. You'd be a fool not to build it in the United States under Trump. The global tax average is 23%. We were at 35. We are now at 21. The average is 23. We are more profitable place to do business than the average country around the world. Let's talk about the countries that can beat us. Russia, 13%. Ireland, 12%. We're at 21. We're still too high. Trump does want to get us down to 15%. That's, I think, what the 2020 race is going to be about. But right now, we are bringing back millions of jobs. Trump has created 4 million jobs in two years. Obama did not do that in his first two years. You compare the first two years, Trump is blowing it out of water. Trump has met with North Korea. We're on a path to no nukes with, with North Korea. And Trump has undone what Obama did in the Middle East because the Iranians are legally at war with us. They want to kill us. They get up every day chanting, death to America, death to America, death, death to the Jews. They wanted to destroy Israel and they want to kill us. Trump's going to, going to stop them from doing that. Obama gave them $150 billion for them promising to take a 10-year break on trying to kill us and Israel. $150 billion to take a 10-year break isn't really good enough, uh, so Trump done away with it. Unfortunately, they got the $150 billion. But back to the economy. We were creating jobs in Ohio, Michigan, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Minnesota. You name it, we are creating jobs under Trump. We were not doing that under Obama. There wasn't this energy under Obama. There's a lot of energy under Trump. And the resistance, it's, it's the second civil war. Remember, the Democrats are the racist in America. They started the civil war to keep blacks as slaves. The Republicans were born on a moral intolerance for slavery. The Democrats are racist and they're sore losers. They started the civil war and when they lost that, they assassinated Lincoln because they wanted to keep slaves, black people, as slaves. In the United States, they've started the resistance because they're sore losers. They started a war on our president, and every time you hear a Democrat call a Republican a racist, understand something, that is bullying. They're trying to bully black people into not understanding that they have a second choice. There are two political parties, and if you can bully blacks, gays, and immigrants into believing the Republicans are racist, bigot, homophobes, they won't vote for them. Therefore, your only choice is the Democrats. You either vote for the Democrat or you don't vote for the Republican, which is a win for the Democrats. It's pure bullying. I'm Tim. This is Tim's TV. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button. Tell everyone about me. You're mad at me. You love me. Tell everyone about me.